Have you heard about the new Filmora Achievement Programme? You can earn badges by completing tasks or trying out new features. There are four badges to collect and you earn rewards for each badge achieved. The Filmora Achievement Programme is only available in Filmora 12.5.5 and above, so don't forget to upgrade if you're not using that version. To view your badges, go to your account in Filmora, click on the Achievement tab, and your badges will appear here as you achieve them. You can also see your rewards for your achievements by clicking here. You redeem your rewards as you achieve them. It's free, it's fun, so why not give it a go? There's a link to the Filmora Achievement Program in the description below. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Today I'm going to be talking about text animation, which I think is really underrated. I don't use it enough and I really should. It can take a boring piece of white text and transform it into something that will make people watch and read the text. So let me show you things you can do with text animation. Right, so let's go to our titles. We'll search for default. And we'll drag the default title down onto the timeline. What I like to do now is click on the title, go to basic, and you can see we have an animation tab there as well. So click on animation, and you see we've got in, out, and loop. I actually don't choose them from here. I like to go into advanced because it gives you more options with your text. So for example, here we have plain white boring text. First thing we're going to do is change the color of it. So let's choose a color fill of a orangey yellow and an outline of maybe red. Okay, that'll do for the purpose of this text. And now if we go to the animation tab, you'll see we have all sorts of animations that we can apply to this text for in, out, and loop. I'll explain what loop is in a minute. If you hover over them, they'll give you a preview of what that actually does. Some do and some don't, I don't know why. As you can see, that one fades in. That's a typewriter effect, although again, it's not showing a preview. <laughs> but what you can do, if you want to see what that's like, simply click on it. Let's give it a second to download and then play your title. There you go. So that's what it looks like. That's a standard title, not very exciting. So let's choose something else. Let's scroll down and have a look at some others. Let's see what push does. I'll click on that. Okay, that just pushes it in from the left again. Nice effect, but not very exciting. Let's have a look at that one, whatever that one is, forward. That's a bit different. Let's have a look at scatter. Again, a bit different. In fact, I'm just going to move the playhead into the middle because with it being at the beginning, you can't see the text. If it's in the center, you'll see the text. And again, you'll see the effect all the time then. So for example, if I click on this one, you can see the text and it doesn't disappear. Okay, let's scroll down, see if there's any more. Let's see what that one is. That's quite nice. I like that one. Um, character. That seems to like go back to front when it first starts. That was a that was a good one. Oops, start that again. Okay, let's go back down. Let's carry on down. See what else. What's that one? Cross zoom. That's a nice effect. Put it back in the middle so we can see it constantly. Right down to the bottom, let's have a look at, I don't know, stretch, what's that one? That's like a flying in title. Let's try twirl. Does what it says on the tin, twirls in. Let's have a look at, I'll just hover over some and we can see what they look like. Again, I don't know why some preview and some don't, that's, that's a bit strange. Let's check out doorway, that looks interesting. That'll do as an opening title. Okay, so we've got our in animation. Let's do our out animation. Actually, before I do that, you can actually change the duration of how fast that animation works. So for example, at the moment, it comes in quite quick. You can slow it down so that it comes in slower. Quite nice, bit too slow for me though. So let me just 
drag that down a bit, just less than halfway. That'll do. No, it's still too slow actually. And you can tell when you move your duration slider up here, you can see that this little slider moves at the same time. So you get a good idea how it's going to fit in with the length of your title. So for example, if I took that right to the top, it's going to take ages to fade in and or zoom in and you're not going to have much of your title left to do an out or a loop. So let's drop that down again. Yeah, that looks about right. So let's choose an out animation now. Text disappears. That looks nice. Let's click on that one and you can see it's actually brought in the animation here. So now we've got animation in, does nothing in the center, then fades out. Yeah, that's quite nice. Okay. What we also can do is if we click on the loop tab, we can animate the text from when it fades in to when it not fades out, whatever it did on the way out. <laughs> I can't remember, but whatever it did, it looked fantastic. <laughs> okay. So at the moment, like I said, we've got fade in, nothing in the center, it's just static text and then it fades out. <laughs> okay. So now if we go to loop, like I said, we can choose loop animations in the center. Now there's some different ones here than what you have for in and out. So let's have a look at some. We've got like a blinking effect. So if you click on that and then play your title, it'll zoom in, blink, and then fade out. Again, you've got the option of changing the speeds. So if I take the speed up, it'll blink quicker. Got that completely wrong. <laughs> If you take the slide up, it blinks slower. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'll drop it down to about just less than halfway again. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's have a look at some more loop effects or loop animations. Let's try Heartbeat. Heartbeat's a good one. It's a bit erratic and a bit mad, but I thought it'd be a good one. Let's have a look a bit further down because there's some different and interesting ones here. Uh, if I click on the center there so I can see the text, let's click on Glitch. That's a good one. I like that. That'd be good if you're doing a horror movie or a ghost trailer or something. So if you play that from the start, comes in, glitches, then fades out. Yeah, that'd make a good horror trailer there actually, or horror opening. Let's have a look at MPEG glitch. Again, glitch with a bit of a, a jump going on in the center there. Just click on each one to see what it does. That's a nice title actually. I like that as, just as a title on its own. I'll show you what you can do if you just want that as a title in, in a minute. We've got a flash effect. Oh, I like that one. That's nice. Yes, I think I'll be having that one. So let me just click on that. Click play. Oh yeah, it's fancy. And then fades out. So again, just have a play around with them all. So that's your in, out and loop. But I actually like the way that looks at the moment. So you see how it's transformed plain old white text into this amazing animated title, which is great. But say you just wanted that as the title and you didn't want an in and an out transition. Very easy to get rid of them. Just click on the in tab, go to the very top, click none, go to the out tab, click on the top and click none. Now you just have the loop transition. Sorry, loop animation. I keep saying transition. <laughs> I don't know. Right. So there you go. I like that just as a title on its own. So that's great. So we'll apply that. And now we've got our fancy new title. Really like that. But what if you want to do more with it? What if you want to make it grow and shrink while still using this tran... I've said transition again. <laughs> this animation. What we can do is use keyframes. So if we go back to the basic tab on titles and you'll see down here we've got transform. Make sure you're at the start of your clip. Click the transform keyframe, go to the end of your clip and add another keyframe. And now what we'll do, we'll just go into the text a little bit there and we want to make that um, fade in from the start. So, or grow from the start. Yeah, we'll actually make it zoom in from the start. So, create a keyframe there. Go back to the start of your clip, the first keyframe and drop that down to naught. Now, when you play that, it zooms in. Maybe a bit too fast, so I shall just drag the keyframe, 
and move it across. Let's try that, see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a bit better. We also want a zoom in again when it leaves or at the end of the text. So let's put the playhead approximately about there, about the same distance as what it was from the start. I still click transform and I'm going to take the scale. Sorry, no, not just yet. Don't take the scale up there and go to the last keyframe, which is there. And I change the scale to as high as it'll go, 400%. So now when we take it from the start, I'll just render that first because you can see I've got a red line along there, which means that it needs rendering. I've got it on auto render every five seconds. So that's now rendered, it's turned green. But if you haven't got auto render set up, just click on that button there when it's uh, highlighted and you can render it. It'll run smooth. It'll give you a better idea of how it really looks. So here we go. This is from a plain piece of white boarding text to how great does that look? And that's how easy it is to change, like I said, normal text into something that people will look at, they'll read, and it'll look really good in your videos. And I'm certainly going to use it myself in the future, definitely more than what I do now. So normally what I say now is thanks for watching, go have some fun. But before I actually say that, although I have just already said it, I'd just like to see how many of you people are actually watching to the end for my analytics. So if you are, please comment below and just say, yes, I did. I'll know what it's all about. Other people won't, but at least I'll see how many people are watching till the end. With that said, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.